Hey Love Arters! Welcome back to the Love Art tutorial series. So recently, something really special happened. Love Art is officially out of beta. No more invite codes, no more referrals. The design agent is open to the public. Our team has been working so hard and I'm so proud that you guys can finally try it without any restrictions. You might be wondering though, what makes our official launch different from our beta launch? Well, one of the biggest updates is Chat Canvas. Maybe you've already heard of it, but if not, go check out this recent video presented by our founding engineer Takumi to learn more. Chat Canvas is one of my favorite and one of the most unique tools to ever exist in the agentic design era. It's a live, intelligent canvas built for visual thinking. You don't need to juggle tools or guess the right prompt in a chat box. Just click anywhere and talk to your agent. It understands where your cursor is, what you're selecting, and what you're trying to do. Even if you don't phrase it perfectly, you can click on any element to get smart suggestions, make edits, or drop comments right on the canvas. This isn't really about typing prompts anymore. Your agent responds in context, like a real teammate working with you. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to walk you through what Chat Canvas actually feels like to use and why it's not just another feature. Let's start with something simple, like a poster. I'm a Frank Sinatra fan, so why not we generate a poster inspired by his song, Fly Me to the Moon? Fly me to the moon, let me play... As usual, Love Art handled it so well. I love all four of these variations, but I'm probably going to pick the last one since it matches the vibe that I had in mind the best, but now I want to show you something really cool. Since it's Fly Me to the Moon, I want the cars and the posters to actually feel like they're flying, so should I add a pair of wings? And to do that, normally I'll have to add the design to chat and then type out a bunch of instructions, but I'm not going to do that today, and that's kind of a lot for such a small change. So this is when Chat Canvas comes into play. I just want to add wings to the red car here. So just go to Chat with Canvas and then click on where I want the change to be added to. And I just click on it and say, add a pair of wings. I don't even need to explain which car and the canvas already knows that it's gonna add a pair of wings to the red car, which is exactly right. And it also confirms with me what style of wings would I prefer. And I'll just say classic wings, I guess. And there you go. It knows uh, what I said and it will confirm that as well. But looking at this poster, I also want to add some musical notes in the open space with the stars. And I can just click on this space and type add musical notes and click enter. And it even double checks with me before generating anything, which I really like. It's asking me if they should be subtle or should they stand out. And I'm just gonna say subtle and scattered maybe. Yeah, so now it's updated in the queue, and one note on add to queue. If you're making multiple changes, like adding wings and musical notes, you can stack them up using the add to queue button that I just used, where you just press enter. And this lets you apply all the changes at once instead of running them one by one. So now I'm gonna click run all. So it will apply both of the comments that I just put in there. This saves a lot of time and keeps your flow smooth and just simplifies the design process so much. After a bit of waiting, LoveArt generated the new poster with exactly those changes. I'm super impressed. It fixed only the parts that I wanted, the musical notes and the classic wings, and left all the rest the same and untouched. And I think that's really important in design because when you make changes, you want to only fix the part that's really specific usually. And Chat Canvas does that very impressively. I like how natural the wings are and how the musical notes blend in with the stars very well, like I instructed it to. And as you can see, all these four designs are grouped together in the same frame, named by their prompt instructions. And if I want to generate new designs in the new frame, I'll just go to new chat button 
and add another tab. But don't worry about getting lost because you can always go back to the top right corner of each frame and click locate chat context. So it will go back to whichever chat this was from. Now here's when it gets even more fun. College is starting soon for me, so I'm thinking maybe I'll actually put this exact poster up in my dorm room. But I'm not really sure what it will look like in an actual dorm in the actual space and how to decorate around it. Here's something you can do to solve that exact problem with Chat Canvas. Again, go back down here to click Chat with Canvas. Just click anywhere on this poster and type your prompt. And because this time I only have this one comment, I can directly click run this comment right away instead of add to queue. And so now you can see that it's generating. It will wait for the final reveal. While LoveArt is running, I want to quickly explain how this works. So if you want a design generated by LoveArt to be in another design, so in this case, if I want a poster that's designed by LoveArt to be in a new image generated by LoveArt, in this case, my own dorm room, I can just use Chat Canvas because how Chat Canvas works is that it understands the entire context of what is going on, just like a real designer teammate that works with you. This simplifies the process so much and I don't even have to worry about whether they will get the details right because it will remember everything that you just instructed it to do early on. LoveArt has finished generating. First of all, the exact same poster is put on the wall. And this also looks really similar to my own dorm room as well. I think the size is also very perfect and fits really well with the wall here as well. But now I want to take this even further and match the whole room to the vintage vibe from the Frank Sinatra poster. And there's a very smart and simple way to do that too. I can just upload a few reference images directly into Chat Canvas. So here's what I prepared, a star cushion and a interior design inspiration that I found online as well as a sunset picture from another dorm that I found online. And the reason I'm uploading them because I want them to be for reference. Let's go to chat canvas again, click on each of these reference images and simply just say use this cushion. And see, it understands that this is a yellow star cushion and it will remember it as a reference. So now we can go on to the other two. So apart from just clicking anywhere on this image, I can also click and drag to select this specific area that I want it to be as reference. And for example, now I can say, use this interior style and click add to queue. And it will know that this is going to be the style of the living room furniture and decoration. That's really smart of Chat Canvas. And now I want to use this image's window view and lighting. And so now we have three comments made for each of these three reference images. But how do I actually apply them onto the base image, which is my dorm room picture? And that's really simple because the last comment that you're going to do with the chat canvas is to just simply select this entire image of the dorm room and put in apply the reference styles to the image. One thing that I really love about Chat Canvas is that it predicts your prompt. And now you can see that it says apply the reference styles to the image, but here's a suggestive text that says ensuring that the overall composition remains unchanged. And that's literally what I want it to be. So I'm just going to click tab and there you go. I'll click add to queue and wait for its response. And after all of these four comments, I want to run all of them in order to actually make the final change. So let's click run all and see what it can generate. Drum roll for the final big reveal. Wow, this is actually so sick. Everything works so well together. First of all, the layout of the room is unchanged. The window is still here and the poster is still here. The only thing that's changed is First of all, this 
cushion is being put on the bed and if you look closely you can see that the carpet and the furniture added here kind of matches the same style in this interior reference image it also as you can see from the window here it matches the sunset in the reference image in a way that also fits this specific dorm view and on top of all of this the poster is still exactly the same as what i just generated earlier with the wings on the cars and with the musical note among the stars as well honestly i'll have to call this a masterpiece i think thank you chat canvas for being such an awesome designer in this process i have zero complaints if you compare this to a chat box this is so much easier and faster than trying to describe everything manually it's also super visual i'm literally building a mood board on the canvas right here and having my ai co-designer to put the pieces together into something very usable and that's the power of an AI design agent and chat canvas working together to provide a transformative way of designing. It's a visual collaboration right here on the canvas built on top of the already powerful AI design agent that LoveArt already is. And if you're still out there looking for an invite code, um, you're late. LoveArt's Live open to everyone and totally free to try. So don't sleep on it. Also, we're running the self-universe challenge in LoveArt. Create anything that represents your digital self on LoveArt and you'll get a shot at winning $10,000 in prizes. We'll put more information down in the comments. Go check it out. Hope you enjoyed this video and learning more about Chat Canvas. Go try it for yourself in LoveArt. See you in the next one, LoveArters. Thank you for watching.